Hello, my name is Justin Ron, and I am one of the student support advisors here at Mohawk Valley Community College. Thank you for joining us today, during which we are going to be demonstrating how to look up classes using the web-based course search system, and then how to enter those classes into your SERS account in order to be able to register for them for the upcoming semester. Now, before looking up classes uh, for the upcoming semester, you will hopefully have followed up with one of your advisors, either your faculty advisor or your student support advisor, to discuss the classes that will be coming up that you'll be looking at taking. After that conversation, you should have a list that looks approximately something like this, with the specific classes outlined so that way you know what you're looking at taking for the upcoming semester. With this course in hand, you can then use this as a jumping off point to start looking up classes to register for the upcoming semester. In order to be able to use the course search system on the web, you will want to go to the main MVCC webpage, which is at www.mvcc.edu. And once there, you will want to scroll down until you see on the right hand side a link that says find a class under an icon that looks like a magnifying glass with a plus sign in the middle of it. You would then click on this link, which will bring you to the main course search web page. At the web page, there will be a lot of drop down menus that provide a number of options in terms of kind of customizing your course search. However, what I've found is the most efficient and effective way to look up classes using the web-based course search system is to leave all of this alone and to only check the box that says only show you courses with seats available. With that box checked, you will then want to click on the search link and this will then bring you to all of the current classes that we are offering for the upcoming semester. There will be a lot of them. However, with the link, um, with the list actually that you have from your advisor, you will be able to utilize then the filter within search box by being able to look up specific classes using the name of the course itself. So in this case, if we were to look up the SO101 class for Introduction to Sociology, you can see that we have a number of different options to choose from for the upcoming semester. As you go through and you look up each of the classes and what their availability is, you will want to be copying down the five digit course code that is called the CRN. This will be the code itself that we use in your SERS account to register you for the courses for the upcoming semester. So once you are done with copying down all of your necessary CRN codes, you can then move to the registration process in your SERS account. To access your SERS account, the easiest way to do that is to scroll all the way up and then click on the current students link at the very top of the web page. Once on the current students homepage, you will then scroll down until you see on the right hand side a key icon with the letters SIRS underneath. This will be the main link to the SERS web page. And when you click on that to the main SERS web page, you will then look to click on the login to secure area link on the left hand side. And this will bring you to the main login page for the SERS account. Your username is going to be your M number and your PIN code will be a six digit code that if you have forgotten it, you can always click on the forgot PIN link. And with both those entered in, you want to click on the login button. And this will bring you to the main SERS menu. There are a lot of really good uh, pieces of information here in the SERS account. However, with our focus being on registration, you will then want to click on the registration menu link. And then on the registration menu, you will then want to click on the very first link presented, which is build your schedule or add and drop classes. And then at the registration menu uh, that you're at now, you will then want to click on register for classes because you already have your CRN codes copied down. You will want to click on the upcoming 
semester that you're looking at registering for and then click on continue and then at the register for classes web page you will then click on the enter CRNs tab and then in the boxes for the CRN codes you will begin typing those in and then you can either click on the add another CRN link or you can just hit tab to be able to move you down to the next box. As you are entering in your CRN codes, on the right hand side you will see that they will populate with the title of the course as well as the section code, just so that way you can double check and make sure you are scheduling for the correct courses. With all the CRN codes now in um, the uh, CRN code registration page, you want to click on Add to Summary. And then those will be in the summary page with the status of pending. And then to actually register for those classes, you will click on the submit button. And as long as everything goes through properly, you will see the status as registered. And this means you have actually registered for the course itself for the upcoming semester. So you have a spot in that class. You can review your schedule a couple of different ways, either using the schedule reviewer next to the summary screen on the bottom left hand corner. Uh, with these being all online classes, there are no specific days and times for these classes that you will be looking at having to show up for. With that being said, however, uh, you can also review that schedule by going back to your SERS account. And then under the registration menu, clicking on the concise student schedule link and then selecting the term that you just registered for, clicking Submit. And this will then show you the classes that you are officially registered for for the upcoming semester. And they will include the title, start and end dates, any kind of specific days and times, as well as the instructor. And this you can then print out and use as a guide for the upcoming semester. We hope that this has been a helpful demonstration of how to look up classes using the course search webpage, as well as register for those classes in your SERS account. If you have any kind of questions, you can always feel free to follow up with your student support advisor, and we hope you have a nice rest of the day.